वेलकम ऑल टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए आई मशीन लर्निंग डेटा साइंस एंड डेटा एनालिटिक्स करेंटली देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स गोइंग ऑन इन द मार्केट फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिक फील्ड ऑफ डेटा एनालिसिस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस मशीन लर्निंग एंड स्पेसिफिकली एवरी वन वॉन्ट टू जम्प इन टू दिस दे वॉन्ट टू हैव सम एक्सेस टू दिस दे हैव सम जॉब्स इन दिस एंड लॉट ऑफ जॉब्स आर अवेलेबल इयर so today we decided to go with a very easy option that is called teachable machine okay so what is this teachable machine is teachable machine is actually an a project or we can call it an ai experiment done by google to whom to the person who want to start with this field who want to make a career in this field so how he or she can make a career in this field first knowing the easiness how we can have some simple machine learning algorithms and using that algorithms how we can generate some model and you can utilize so the teachable machine is the way we don't need any coding no knowledge the way the teachable machines provide the links the idea is just to understand how this kind of machine learning world will be useful for all of us so when we talk about such kind of thing that how this teachable machine can be useful we need to know some basic understanding of what is machine learning is what are the types or the way how machine learning works okay so we will have that first then we will proceed step by step okay in between any question come up any query come up you can put into the chat window on youtube also the live streaming is going on you can have there or those who are connected with zoho platform can uh, ask me in the chat window both the windows are open so let me show you the contents which we are going to consider today so before jumping on to the contents let me introduce myself anup jain kelkar nearly 18 years of experience in this it and data analytics field i am currently a director of python academy in nagpur specifically designed for the course on this ai ml and data analysis i have done my btech and mtech from vrc now it is vnit nagpur and i am also a certified oracle database administrator i am ex tcsr also was there for 5 years in specifically us california then came back here in nagpur so that is all about me and i am going to conduct this session for you okay one teachable machine so what are the contents we are going to see here so the specifically first what is machine learning is okay so a simple definition we will have we will not make this uh, session very complicated because we know this is all a new field or may not be very uh, exactly uh, unknown field but yes you need to understand how it can be utilized so we will make it very simple for understanding and go through that and we will not make it very big but yes we will show you a small project also interesting project which if you got the idea of that you can have multiple outputs on that or you can try out with multiple uh images or uh, various ways it provides okay so all these things we will see one by one so that is best so let's start with it so first we will have a definition of machine learning then we will see a simple workflow of how machine learning works how it starts how it ends do it really ends or it is a continuous journey or what exactly happen okay so this is very much similar to humans so we don't stop at learning anything we continue up to the end okay so we cannot say machine learning algorithm or the model which we create stops at one point it is a continuous thing okay but we will see what are the steps in that then what are the types of machine learning specifically how we can divide what is the machine learning and how to go ahead with that and then we will talk about the main thing that is teachable machine the google's teachable machine what is that what is it used for what are the pros and cons of that and then we will have a very simple live coding demo which you also can do with me that is the easiness the teachable machines provide so these are the contents which we are going to see step by step
so here is tom uh, michel he is a very famous person former chair of head of machine learning department carnig mellon university so he has given a very perfect definition there are many definition in the market okay i will not say that this is the only one but if you look at the different definition this definition i like the most it is easy to understand and easy to go ahead with so what this uh, definition tells uh, about the idea so it tells that machine learning is the art of creating software programs that learn from the data so it is basically an art you can say we are talking about the engineering or the art but it is a art because you need to know how to tune the parameters which will come next creating the software programs that learn from the data so specifically they learn from what data which uh, we provide as an input to them so more formally it can be defined as the practice of building adaptive programs that has to be underlined that use tunable parameters that also has to be underlined to improve the predictive performance and that has to be underlined so it is a sub field of ai artificial intelligence so when i say it is a sub field of ai obviously ai is a very big term it is a big subject in part many things are <coughs> there so if i bring it down to a simpler line what it says it can be defined as a practice of building adaptive programs so basically machine learning is nothing but the kind of algorithms which we uh, see in general practice may be a simple algorithm or complicated so it is just the algorithm only the additional thing is it uses tunable parameters so this tunable parameters are nothing but just the variable x y z which i can increase decrease according to the output which i want which is to improve the predictive performance so predictive is what nothing but the giving the output from that algorithm so that is the way the algorithm is designed you have a step by step process you pass some inputs to that algorithm and once that algorithms uh, consume that input which you are passing it gives you some output now this some output which you have got may be correct or wrong that is the prediction we say so according to the output we will change the parameters in that what kind of parameters the tuning parameter so once we change it that we are going to have some more accurate result and that is the way how this machine learning algorithm works so that is the basic idea behind how we can call machine learning is okay so that is the thing you should have as i said any question in between you can put it into the chat window now once you have the idea of machine learning let us see how does that machine learning works actually how it starts how it ends so if i see from a diagram point of view i will have some kind of training data as an input where the data can be anything it can be as simple as some csv file an excel file or it may be complicated as a video which has to be divided into frames maybe images maybe some temperatures maybe something sensors which are sending some kind of data so so many kind of data can be there once we have the training data we train the ml algorithm first on the basis of what whatever the input we have we process it accordingly so lot of processing is also required okay processing consume lot of time also so if you call the pre processing time that is the data analytics we generally do it consume nearly 80% of your whole time so that is also there and once you process it the algorithm has to be used okay so once your algorithm is done you pass a new input data to that algorithm and you get some kind of prediction if the prediction is very good you are well you are going in right direction if it is not you have to retrain the algorithm so this circle which i am showing here is a continuous one it is a continuous means every time something new will happen you have to do the pre processing and train the algorithm and that is the way machine learning algorithm in general work so as an example of that generally i prefer to give an example of a, a book which is robert duda uh, he has a pattern classification book very good book for machine learning understanding he has given a very good example that suppose there is a fish factory he is a us author so he has given the example of us only so in us one factory is there and there two types of fishes comes that is basically it's calling salmon and bass so for these two types of fishes they will calculate the length and weight of each fish and they will put in one excel file saying this is the length this is the weight and this is the type of fish say t1 and t2 
once this data is available in excel format where i have say 1000 fishes and then i have the columns as uh, length weight and type so this will become a training data which once we have we will feed to the algorithm so that we will have such a kind of algorithm so next time a new fish come i will just pass in the length and weight of that fish and my algorithm will tell what type of fish it is okay so that is the way it will tell you what kind of fish it is okay so that is the uh, simple way of explaining how machine learning algorithm can work okay so that is uh, you can understand uh, this is a simple example i mean where this can be used it may be a conveyor belt and may have some machine arm okay so that arm will move the fish to left or right according to its type so that is also machine learning don't consider machine learning is a too high level or robotic thing there are the simple simple tasks once you do that you combine that task then you create something of ai thing okay so don't directly look at that that it is a very big field how i can understand anyone can understand by looking at how we can go ahead with that okay so that is the way the machine learning algorithm works okay and you should understand that way how we can proceed with that once we know the machine learning works or the mode of that we can see what are the types of machine learning so basically there are three types of machine learning which has been divided as supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning which is a higher level you can say so supervised learning is one which the just now i have explained a fish example a fish is there and obviously i know the type of that fish in the starting and on that basis i will create an algorithm which will identify in the future what will be the type of the fish okay so that was a supervised learning in unsupervised there may be a condition that i have a two type of fish or maybe i have a bunch of fishes but i don't know how to divide them i have any expertise in identifying this fish is of that type and this fish is of that type so that time that becomes an unsupervised learning it is just the bunch of data unlabeled data that is another word you can use unlabeled data and i need to identify what are the uh, classes in that do the clustering or some recommendation or something like that it is totally unclustered or oh, that is has to be changed to the cluster format the third one is reinforcement learning where automatically you decide what things has to do on the basis of previous experience just like your video games you if you have played a simple game called mario so mario you just jump on jump on you die and after next time you remember no this should not be the step taken i should go in this way so that is the reinforcement so these are the three basic types of machine learning algorithm in that again the division is there like in supervised we can divide the things as classification and regression so when i say classification it is just like the fish example two types of fishes i need to just classify whereas uh, in regression we predict the continuous values maybe a weather forecasting risk assessment score prediction or stock market prediction these are all the regression model continuous value will change and you have to identify some kind of difficult model you can say classification is some sort of easy like the spam detection in email then the image classification and on this classification the teachable methods or teachable machine which we are going to learn is based on this classification only uh, it doesn't provide all this uh, unsupervised and regression models but yes it provides the classification model in easy format which uh, comes out to be very easy to work on very easy to proceed with okay so that is uh, there in the classification and the same thing we are going to see when we talk about the unsupervised learning it again comes with the two types like association or the clustering so it is like market basket analysis text mining face recognition all comes under the association and simple example of market basket analysis like if you go to amazon or flipkart or some online uh, website and try to buy something when you are going to buy that you will have some recommendation downside that people who buy this also buy this so these are actually automatic recommendation how it is generated looking at the past data <coughs> how the people react to this product and how they buy this also or not okay so that is the way the market basket analysis work text mining is there face recognition that is also popular whereas the second thing is clustering where it is basically used in medical research city planning targeting marketing so it is just like uh, we don't have an idea exactly but yes we can divide that data into a 
format saying how the targeted marketing i can do how medical research i can do so that is the clustering format we can use so the supervised learning unsupervised learning and as a third format we have the reinforcement learning which is where i have said uh, higher level like a gaming robot navigation assembly line processes so these are the one which has to be decided on go so when i say on go means once i have some idea i will decide how to go ahead with that and then how i can go step by step against that so that is the way how the reinforcement learning works so if you basically look at the machine learning it is very vast okay you cannot say i am an expert in machine learning you need to know all these things and sometimes what happens from market perspective or from a job industry perspective it may not be a case you work on all this field it may be the case you work on some particular field okay so even if you work on particular field that is fine because you have the idea of how this machine learning algorithm works what are the types in that and what are the steps we can follow in that okay so that is the way you can look at this machine learning algorithms so we have just divided this topic into three types what is the machine learning a very simple de definition which was what an adaptive program that uses a tunable parameters to just have a proper prediction okay so that was the first thing we have talked about the second thing which we will talk about is that uh, how it works so we have just formulated the steps to work on that so it was step by step method which uh, takes the training input as an input and then starts with going on how to tune that machine okay how to work with that machine so you have an excellent output so that was the second thing you can have the second thing you can think about that okay so that was the next thing and once it was done we jump on to the types of the algorithms which were specifically the supervised unsupervised and reinforcement okay so that was the thing we need to know about basic machine learning again in the start as i said the today's seminar or the webinar you can say it it is for just looking at the machine learning perspective from wider perspective because it is very easy to create the algorithm using that uh, teachable machine but we should have the basic idea behind that what is happening okay you may not know how the code is that code is also available once we create the model that also we will see but you should have the idea how the things are happening if you don't have a proper idea it may be a confusing task for you to go ahead okay so do have that thing in mind so looking at all this style we will go ahead and we will see what is this google uh, google teachable machine is so basically the google teachable machine is we can train a computer to recognize our images sound and poses okay so it is basically on three things works okay so it uh, works on the classification of images it can works on the sounds or it can work on the po poses or the fields you are providing so that is the first thing is provide it is a fast and easy way to create a machine learning models for our sites apps and more no expertise or coding required so that is another thing so no expertise is required you just use that site properly but yes i can say it can be a starting point for you don't take it granted that that is the way i can use uh, projects or i can just create the all things no you should take it as a starting point develop it on your own once you get the code from their website and then add new new things on that so it will be a kind of project if you are working for some college project or something if not if you want to learn it you have to go through it each step by step output which you get so that you can go ahead and understand it so the teachable machine is a web based tool that makes creating machine learning models fast easy and accessible to everyone every person who even never knows about the machine learning or even coding can have the models ready then he can or she can explore as per their needs it depends on person to person but that will be also good if you start in that manner so the second thing if you talk about how to use that so they and you will find out this is very very simple made the, they have made it so there are nothing you have to worry about okay is that uh, how we can proceed or how the things will happen in that no worries at all you just go step by step and your model is ready and that's why i have said you also just try out how you can have it in your own way 
just have some inputs uh, uh, as i explained step by step and then you will also have the idea yes that is the way i can utilize this thing very easy very uh, effective way and that is a very good uh, effort google has put in so how it works basically so it has a three step model which we uh, we have to use first we have to define the classes which we want to identify the classes may be the images may be the sounds like a sound of one thing another thing third thing images may be and classification of like apple and oranges i have used some arrow method just to show where the arrow is going in or uh, the third is the poses for poses you should have a proper camera to capture your poses okay maybe not able to just sit and do it or you can do it also it depends okay so the first step is the gather and group your examples into classes or categories that you want the computer to learn once you define the classes you have to provide the data how an algorithm will uh, learn what you want to do you have to provide in the same poses multiple images and that's why they have also shown uh, a puppy which is uh, far uh, not near and this is the puppy which is near so here you should have nearly 80 images and that also is provided there you automatically get 80 images there itself you don't have to work on that once it is done you have to train your model so train your model then instantly test it out to see whether it can correctly classify new example so it takes some time okay it takes 2 uh, 3 minutes or sometime 5 minutes to understand how to train your model but the good thing is once your model is there you can export your model so your model for your projects like the sites apps and more you can download your model or host it on online for free also it provides automatic web link which you can open on your mobile or somewhere else so that you can see how easiness uh, the google teachable machine has provided and it has a wide application many people are using that and the uh, good thing is the one of the creator of this is one of them is indian so that is also a good thing proud thing so as i said in the start it basically can be used in three kinds of thing images sounds or for the poses so in images it uh, you, you want to teach a model to classify an images using files or your webcam so that is the files means you pass the images through files only if uh, you want okay the second one is uh, sounds like teach a model to classify audio by recording short sound samples okay so you can have mp3 wav or edc file support coming soon so that thing also you can provide uh, through that so that is also there and the third thing which comes as the poses so it actually uh, pinpoints your positions okay you can see that uh, dots and arrow there and actually then it takes the position so that is the way the positions also can be captured okay so various ways are there to capture this thing and once you have that you go for the modeling of that okay so these are the things we can teach so again you can say that there is a limitation okay obviously everything cannot come free but that is a very good start for all of you who are very new to this kind of thing okay or sometimes what happens you have a lot of videos available on internet and youtube and sometimes you don't know what is exactly happening because maybe you don't have any knowledge of coding maybe you are totally new to this field but when you go to teachable machine at least you get a basic idea yes i can create that but it is not a just uh, a click of everything okay so it has to be lot of efforts they have put in and that's why this is happening now these are just the example again it is available on their website also so they have lot of examples also available like a tiny sorter they have created to sort the peanuts then project euphoria or euphonia that is using is this person who is not able to move to identify his expression face expressions and then do the things like if he makes uh, clucking yeah, the lights will on or it say just down their eyes it will be the Uh, lights may shut down a lot of things uh, he is producing using the simple teachable machine and uh, teachable snake game is also there which i can uh, provide you also so we will have this arrow thing only to identify arrow but we can combine that in the future to play the snake game so i have the arrow moving right or left and accordingly my snake will move so that kind of interesting games and that kind of thing you can think for your college projects also because many a times you produce some college projects which are very simple library management system or some website that doesn't make any sense you think something new and provides it definitely your professors your examiner everyone will like that okay so you should proceed in that 
so let's start the coding so we will have the three steps to go with we will generate the data set for teachable machine we will train the classification model which we have and test it with live input okay so these are the three steps we will follow so before doing that i will like to share my model which already i have created and then we will try to create the same model again any thing what happens the webcam is on through this zo platform so it may be a clashing there may happen if it doesn't then it is fine if it happens we will see what are the other ways we can uh, work around that okay so let's start the coding so just change let me change the screen to the coding side so just give me a minute So just have a minute. okay so this is the model which i have created it is a simple model which uh, identifies the arrows uh, i have a picture which uh, shows me and which identify where i am showing my arrows okay so let us see how this arrow things works okay so i will just show you an example which i have created so here if i showing an arrow which uh, identifies up arrow automatically you can see here then if i move it to left side you will see it identifies it as a left arrow so you can see that also let me scroll a little bit so this is a very simple model i what exactly it is doing it is actually identifying the images okay the images which i am showing so this is the third kind of images which i have loaded and it is now identifying it is a down arrow and the fourth one also which is an left arrow okay it may be left right for the mirror images problem but it is fine okay so we can just reverse it as a left and right so the thing is how the simple model and i have created this model within 10 minutes okay so it is not more than that it identifies all the things like the up arrow if i directly change it to the down or the left so for left it is actually showing right so that is the mirror imaging problem you can say and then it is showing the right arrow so that is exactly how it is working so this is the model which i have created the same model we will also try out at the same time okay so all of you are hopefully ready so you can just put yes if you are ready i will just share you the teachable machine link now so just hold on so let me know if all of you are ready do put your yes or no in the chat window I am sharing the link now. So those who are accessing from uh, Zoho platform will not have an access to the speaker. So do open this link, the Teachable Machine. Okay, I will provide it on the uh, YouTube channel also. Or you can just search it, okay. So that is the Teachable Machine and uh, you are ready with this. Now I will just show you a simple project and then you can also decide on your own way how we can go ahead with that. Okay, so very simple way to go with this. So let me go ahead. So all the details are provided. We can just get started. So I am clicking on that. So we will start the project. So it asks you what kind of projects you want to create. Is that an image project you want to create, an audio project or an post project? As we said, these are the three types it provides to work on. So that is the way we can go ahead. We can have the image project, which is the arrow project we will have. 
so once you open it is a simple uh, diagram which we have said in the beginning how it works it is just the three step method okay you have something as an input you have something as an output and then the training in between okay so that is the simple way you can have to go ahead with that okay so let's see how we can create our simple model here okay those who are facing any problem or any error do put into the chat window okay so the first thing i will create four classes just like the arrow i have said so for this i will just clicking and i will just say it is an up arrow you can think any way if you want to see the hands moving on up down left right that is also possible okay whatever the way you want i am changing another class so i am giving and this as the down arrow similarly you can add another class which is uh, say left arrow it is just the classification we are doing and then we are adding another class which says right arrow so we are ready with the, our classes the next thing is we have to upload the images here so i will have an webcam here just to capture my things and here is the button okay so let me explain it then you also can try it okay i have my image ready so i will use this image this image when you show you have to tilt it somehow okay so that it will have the multiple inputs in that otherwise what happens uh, sometimes uh, you have an steady image so it doesn't take it uh, seriously means it takes only one image to identify so that should not be the case so you should uh, move the image like this okay so it will be able to capture this thing okay so i will also do that meanwhile while moving this image i will hold this button okay so uh, how much time you hold that much images it will capture and it will give the count here also while doing that there are some settings also available if you want to okay so you can go ahead with the detail of that it is available in documentation so let's have our up arrow first okay so let me put it properly first and then hold it so i am just moving it so i can have some images you can see the image count is increasing rapidly and i stopped so now you can see i have one one five images as an sample so that is the first step i have what i have done exactly i have created a class here which uh, it identifies and uh, it keeps it as a class 1 that is an up arrow hopefully everyone is understanding how i am doing this the second one again i will go with the webcam this is the second class which i have said down arrow okay so let me move my image as an down arrow and as i say again i have to move it so it can capture so let me run it and uh, move it so it can capture it the button should be on and mostly 100 and more image you should capture okay so that is gives a more accurate answer so that is the second image i captured which are basically a down arrow somehow tilted arrow you can say because i am not able to hold it properly but it is fine so that is the second one now i am going for the left arrow so obviously for going left uh, it is not going on left it is going on right okay as we have seen previously so let me change it so then doing the image and again i will capture this arrow in the left one because that is the left we are going to capture okay so let's go with the left one okay or is it correct to have this one i think this will be also fine to correct it as a left then you can change the class also okay so here we go for the left arrow okay so my arrow is moving i am capturing lot of images it is nothing but the frames i am capturing okay so i have captured the images in some images they it captured me also okay so it may be problematic at some point so it is better no problem so that is the second one uh, third one and now i have the right arrow okay so i am just changing its direction to right and i will just press the hold record and i will start okay so i am capturing the right arrow also and uh, again i will have 100 and more images and the work is done we have been able to capture the data so the data set we have been captured is up arrow down arrow left arrow and right arrow okay so that are the thing again as i said it is just the example i am explaining okay there are lot many things you can do and i will suggest you really do this because it is interesting easy 
to go with okay and again uh, the second thing as i said it is a starting point don't think that it is a continuous thing or this is the way you will do your final year project no it is a starting point but will give an good idea okay so i have the three models ready here one two three four okay i will just have to press again in uh, training i have multiple options available which you can utilize for your purpose okay we will not have that but that also if you understand all these things step by step if you have gone through the reading you can do that so i will just bring on to the train model and once i click it will start the training of data now here some of the time will be consumed why because i am now feeding nearly <coughs> 100 100 100 and 100, 400 images for preparing the model so obviously it will take some time to understand it to go ahead with that okay so in basically this is a kind of deep learning model which uses a cnn that is the actually the idea behind that but uh, how it works it actually works by going step by step and then preparing the model okay so once it starts preparation it will give an uh, message that don't switch the tabs because we have to stop at this point don't switch your tab because the training is going on okay so it takes some time to get uh, on and it counts uh, up to 50 to make the model ready okay you can have the image here how the training you can stop training in between if you find out oh i miss one class or uh, if i miss some images to be loaded so that is up to you that is not the problem so at this process uh, google uses its cpu gpu whatever available to track these images to track these images uh, how they do that actually uh, i cannot uh, change the tab here but if i want to explain this how it happens it actually break this image into small small pixels and then it makes a matrix kind of thing where it knows where the pixels are black where the pixels are white and then it creates own map behind saying that okay this is the map for upper arrow with some changes in pixel where obviously the pixel at here and here will change some position because image is changing and once it creates the map it tells the it uses the neural network behind it tells that neural network okay that is the thing how the model is ready so our model is ready now while i am talking it is capturing different thing but now if i say my image which is i will show here and you will find out it says it is an up arrow if i change it it says it is an where is that image okay it says it is a right arrow and that is also correct if i change it a little bit down it is an down arrow and if i change it it says it is an uh, let it capture completely okay so here it is a little bit confusing let me get it back uh, now it is fine okay so image has to be proper and it is saying left arrow and it doesn't mean i am doing it sequentially or something i can just change any position okay so i can go into some direction separately only the thing arrow should be available and yes it tells it correctly if I change immediately down, yes, it checks it and say down arrow. So that is the way we have generated a very simple project using the teachable machine. And we haven't tried anything coding or something. It is just how it is available and it is free. The best thing is, okay, you don't have to do anything. The second thing available here is you can export your model. Okay, so what are the options available? You just click on that. Multiple options are available like you can upload it as a share link and if you upload it you get your own link just i got it okay so you just uh, have upload share link and press on upload you get your own link ready you we can use it or you can download the code also and that is the best thing python has provided or uh, obviously the google python has provided where you can download the code at tensor uh, tensorflow js as an tensorflow or as an tensorflow light so all the kind of coding is available directly you just download it you can put it into github also so others can share that okay so it will be a just like a code but they can share it so the so much flexibility has been provided here and you can utilize that as and when required so out of that what i have used i have used the tensorflow js with upload a shareable link and once i click that upload my model it will be uploaded and once upload is complete a link will appear here because you have uploaded your model
so the link which is uploaded is available here you can see and everyone gets a new link means again automatically a web application is ready for you so i am just copying this link and now i am pasting here okay so let me paste it and just run it so my model will appear on this page directly so that was my model which i have created and in this if i again show my things like the arrow yes it is showing the same thing up left my images are not that much good but yes it is capturing the thing correctly and that will be available for all of you easily so you can see that how easily the python or the google python i can say it is not google python python is a separate entity but yes that is an easy way it has been provided to work on so everyone can try it out and have their own models ready okay so that was supposed to be in the today's session where we are talking about what is machine learning how the machine learning proceed step by step and uh, how we can use this google teachable machine to create our own model so that was all thing let me go back to the ppt again so just wait for a minute So going back to the PPT. So talking about the academy now. In our academy, the Python Academy, we provide the uh, three kinds of delivery modes, which are specifically the classroom delivery, online delivery, and selfless instructor videos. Currently, classroom delivery is on hold because of the COVID, but uh, soon it will start once we have a go ahead from the uh, government. But currently, we have the online and selfless instruction videos going on, where in specifically online, we teach directly one to one, where I will be an instructor there itself, and you will be joining just like this Joe platform. And all these videos will be loaded into YouTube, which will be available for lifetime. So that is the first thing we provide. Self-as instructor videos, where already recorded videos are there. If you are busy, not able to generate the time, you can go ahead with this third mode, where you check the videos as per your need, and you will have a direct communication with us through Skype account. So that kind of uh, things, or the I can say the modes we provide as a training program. The course which we provide in this academy the python academy is basically a single course and that is a data analytics with python no else no but no ai no ml no detailing each thing and saying it is a separate code it is all and combined it is basically data analytics with uh, python which i call it pro degree program which consists of the python environment setup and essentials where we specifically talk about python as a programming language for doing all this stuff obviously you need a python as a programming language so that is the first step we follow next we go for the data analytics with multiple packages like numpy pandas and all these things to work on and then we have the advanced data science concept where we talk about how we can have this machine learning and algorithms with some details on sklearn library so eight algorithms we study there and we have some electives and job readiness like deep learning nlp iot applications which you can web application with django which you can go ahead with that so that is a full fledged course we provide so do subscribe there also or have a call with our executive lead manager who will give you and detail on that okay so that was the all things and the main thing those who haven't subscribed yet do subscribe to our channel you have a lot of videos coming up in the future also okay thanks all of you for joining this session on uh, teachable machine hope you enjoyed that we will have a lot more session in the future also thank you